Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is calling for a 10 p.m. Eastern time debate in order to avert a government shutdown. He is hoping that there will be a vote and there will be some sort of short term solution in order to prevent the shutdown of the government. Now, there are two different perceptions here. Democrats, think that maybe they would vote in favor of a very short term extension of funding. So several days in order to help fund the government while they continue debating a longer long term solution. However, Republicans want a four week funding extension, something that most Democratic senators are not in favor of because they want to really focus on a clean bill in regard to DACA. Um, but there are some moderate Democrats like Heidi Heitkamp, uh, Joe Manchin that might vote in favor of the four week extension. That is based on some speculation in reporting that I'm seeing now. So a uh, couple of things here, uh, of course, leave it to the Democrats. When you got them on the ropes and polling indicates that by a margin of 20 points, people would blame the Republicans for the shutdown, uh, over 70% are in favor of the Dream Act, which is what you're fighting for, and even bigger numbers in favor of children's health insurance, the other thing you're fighting for. When you've got them cornered, what are you gonna do? Let them go, right? Because that's what the Democrats do, because they're paid to lose. So that's why I call them corporate Democrats. Manchin and Heidkamp and those folks, that they, I mean, I know Trump won their states, that's the excuse they use. But reality is they they are funded not by small donors, uh, but by giant donors, and if you notice today, I don't, you know, it's a rare, it's a weird thing that I notice, but the the markets, uh, the government shutdown might happen, and then the markets would, you know, would go uh, down significantly if there's a government shutdown. There'd be a lot of issues. Nope, they didn't move at all. In fact, they, they, I think I believe they closed up a little bit. You know why? They're thinking, we got this, man. All these guys are in our back pocket. They're not gonna shut the government down. They're gonna do as they're told. We sent our errand boys to, to take care of this. The rest of it is just kabuki theater. But people with money to lose are gambling on the fact that Democrats are gonna fold, so. Well, you know why? That's what it says. Because it's like a good magic trick. They planned it ahead of time, because they already paid them to lose earlier. Paula Jean Swearingen running against Joe Manchin in a Democratic primary in West Virginia, uncorrupted. Go vote, whether it's Paula Jean or anyone else, go find uncorrupted Democrats in primaries. That is way more important than in the general elections. By uncorrupted, no corporate PACs. Okay, get money out of politics. There are all these candidates, Justice Democrats, that are running as uncorrupted. Then you won't, next time the Republicans might be surprised, the markets might be surprised. Oh My God, what the hell are these guys doing? We didn't give that order. Wouldn't it be amazing if your representatives and senators took orders from you in a democracy, rather than incredibly rich and powerful people who paid them off, amazing. But right now, that's not what we have, so everything will be just fine for the rich and powerful. If you become a member of the Young Turks, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. So do it right now, tytnetwork.com slash join, get the whole Young Turks show every day.